Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the giant wakes prior to 1937. We're going to do this in Iron Man mode. I'm not going to bother to name it. The key thing here is you can start the giant wakes if you're already at war, or you can bypass it if you've done a decision we don't actually have access to yet. So the first thing we need to do is not select a focus and then grant statehood to Alaska. For our army, we are going to select everything. We are going to grab the infantry and the National Guard divisions, split those off. And then we have these 10 divisions. We're going to swap the cavalry to the garrison just to get the equipment back from it. And then we're going to stick it in a separate theater and just leave it there. These guys will just hopefully never reinforce. Of the National Guard divisions, we're going to swap them down to the infantry divisions just to save us equipment. We only need about 20 but we'll keep 24 one full army and we are going to move these guys all the way over to the philippines just spread them out a little bit now for factories we're going to do a controversial thing i'm going to build mills you know why this strat requires us to go to war so we will build mills we're going to need them it's going to be a slow process but it's going to build something we'll actually go three one then we'll go back up to two once we build a mill and then we'll just keep going or ships i'm not going to delete these but we don't need to complete them they will never be completed in time we'll just try and spam out all of the destroyers and then just grab the whole navy, merge it up, give it an admiral. The admiral we're going to use is Halsey because he's got bold. One last bit of setup is just to come in here, sort by airbase, and then just grab all of the um, planes. We're going to move them to the Philippines. For research, we do need electronic mechanical engineering. Basic machine tools will work. Uh, interwar artillery and the um, first support weapons. And then we can just speed five. And we're just waiting for us to hit... Uh, 25 political power so that we can start this decision. So you should hit it on January 22nd. So we're going to click this decision. We're going to click a medium lobbying effort, and then we're going to start continue the new deal. That cost us 12 days on the focus, but that's fine. We're seeing it negative PP, but it doesn't matter. The negative daily gain doesn't matter. You cannot actually go below zero from negative political power gain, so that does not matter whatsoever. Okay, continue the new deal is about to finish. It is important we do not select another focus. We need to let the game run for a couple days. We need to hit 150 political power. Okay, 150 political power. We are going to withdraw from the naval treaties. We are also going to come in here and we are going to release the Kingdom of Hawaii as a puppet. It can be released as a puppet, it's fine. We're going to release Puerto Rico and we're going to release the Mariana Federation. This is important because if you release all three, the UK and France should not declare war on you. So the two others that might declare war on us are Italy, which they won't do it if you have more than 20 troops. If you have 20 divisions or less, they will declare war on you. And then Japan. Japan starts with 60 divisions. The fact that I've kept these around should be fine. Electronic mechanical engineering also finished, so we're going to continue on to radio. And now that we've done that, we can also do another medium lobbying effort. From this point on, focuses do not matter. You can do the Neutrality Act and come down and do the Arsenal Democracy focuses. You can do the WPA and go get the research slot. You can do the Suspend the Persecution and go get the three free advisors. It does not matter. It is entirely up to you and your preference. So we do want to send the fleet over to the Philippines. With this army, we would like to set up a naval invasion of Nagasaki. Just invade the port and round it. Outside of that, we are actually going to take these guys and we are going to send them over here. Because this is not actually our territory, it cannot be taken. And these guys, their job is just going to be to launch naval invasions to snipe some of these other victory points. Just in case we get stuck. Okay, so you're going to get a stern warning from the United Kingdom. We are going to claim we are going to disarm. We don't have to disarm. It's actually important that we don't disarm because that's what gives them the war goals. Okay, we just finished basically all of our techs. We're not going to bother rushing these. We can just continue on to doing our industry tech, whichever one you want. We've gotten all the important stuff. And Japan will immediately declare war on you. That is perfectly fine. You want that. It's the others that won't immediately declare war on you. I'm actually going to send the subs back to America. I shouldn't have brought them across the sea. They will protect the west coast just in case. Now, we can't actually just immediately destroy Japan here. It's unfortunate, but we can't. And then homeland defense, that is what we want. This is why we are granting statehood to Alaska. It makes Atu Island a core once this finishes, at which point we can activate homeland defense. It'll immediately remove the Great Depression. We'll immediately go to extensive conscription war economy, and we get division attack and defense on core territory. All amazing things. Now, you're going to want to put your co your fleet on convoy escort. Okay, 40 destroyers for convoy escort purposes. That should be fine. We'll put the fleet itself on strike force. So 
We're going to use our tactical bombers just to bomb these subs a little bit. Now we're just really waiting to grant statehood to Alaska for that to finish. Once that's finished, they're taking Attu, which is great. We need them to take that. Now we want to set up a strike force along this east coast. Just to make sure they don't take like Alaska or anything. But them taking Attu is very important. Oh, fleet battle? I think don't think this is going to go well for you, Japan. And there's a decent portion of the Japanese fleet. We did not take very much damage from that. It's not often I'm actually watching a fleet battle as it happens. Since they have taken Atu, we can now navally invade them. They control the state, so it's all good. Of course, they convoy raided one of the three prongs of the invasion, so hopefully they don't have anything there. They do. That is not good for us. Um, where's the fleet? Halt your order. Come just sit here. Okay, there we go. We did manage to get the port. That's all that matters. Okay, we need to flood in every other person. Grab all 14. Now, we can't cap them yet. We still need to do the decision. 24 more days, but we're in a good spot. Might make sense to get the infantry expert and then army offense in a couple more days when we can do that. And then we're just going to keep pushing. Just snake all of this. Make sure they can't do anything weird about it. Okay, radio is done. That's an important one. It's a little weird. We are going to take one of these guys. We're just going to leave him on this port. And we can also bring in the rest of the Air Force. Be pretty useful. Okay, we can do army offense. That's nice. So this is one problem with these early wars. You are going to run into situations where they just have better infantry than you. But we can deal with that. We have an Air Force. And it's also why we set up these naval invasions. Alaska has finally become a state. They now control our cores, so we can do Homeland Defense Emergency Act. I think I actually missed this by a couple days. It bypasses all of these. Well, not the last one because it gives you building slots. And the giant wakes just gives you 100 political power now. But it will immediately bypass, so it doesn't actually give you anything. And there you have it. We're at war economy, 100% war support. We can build whatever we want. I'm going to civic greed, though. And nobody else declared war on us. This is a key thing. They have war goals against us, but they won't actually declare war on us. This island's an interesting place. There's no actual supply hubs on it at any point in time. And this is the reason we set up these naval invasions. Ooh, they navally invaded behind us. We both are doing the exact same thing at the exact same time. That's because my fleet was sitting here doing nothing. So this is a little dicey because they actually like managed to spread out, but it's fine. We should be able to kill this off just fine. So we did actually manage to land everywhere. We just need Osaka and we just need Hiroshima and Osaka. That should be enough. Oh, it's just not quite. That's a little unfortunate. Okay, so the Hail Mary nearly worked, but it didn't, but it's fine. It broke the stalemate. That was its real job. So we're finally getting through them. I mean, this war is really just showing you why Operation Downfall would have been so bloody. Japan is horrible terrain to fight through. Oh, I didn't send an invasion at Sendai. If I'd done that, they would have capped. Okay, I just need to take Tokyo. We'll just brute force this just to don't give them the ability to reorg. Okay, we managed to take it just through brute force. That's them capping. Now you can do whatever you want with them. It doesn't matter. You can satellite, Man Manchuko, Manguko, Korea. You can do all that. You can take all of their islands. You need to change government or make a supervised state. It doesn't actually matter. And voila, you've won the war. You've got 100% war support. You have war economy. You do not have the Great Depression. If you wanted to, you could delete these divisions, delete a couple of these divisions. You probably want to wait for them to bring them home, but I'm just going to demonstrate this immediately. So we'll just delete down to 20 divisions. And what's going to happen? Italy's going to immediately declare war on us. And now you could probably get military access from these guys, use some diplomatic pressure from your operatives, and just navally invade Italy, and you've taken them out by 37. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. This is just demonstrating the fastest way to get to war economy and get rid of the Great Depression at the same time. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.